The Sault Ste. Marie International Bridge spans the St. Mary's River between the United States and Canada connecting the twin cities of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan and Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. The bridge is operated by the International Bridge Administration under the direction of the Sault Ste. Marie Bridge Authority, a bi-national governing body consisting of four directors appointed by the Governor of Michigan and four appointed by the Canadian government-owned Federal Bridge Corporation. Description The Sault Ste. Marie International Bridge is the tenth busiest passenger crossing on the Canada–United States border, and the only land crossing for almost 700 miles It serves as the northern terminus of Interstate 75 The bridge began construction in 1960 and officially opened to traffic on October 31, 1962. Daily operation is carried on by the International Bridge Administration under the supervision of the Sault Ste. Marie Bridge Authority The SSMBA replaced the previous Joint International Bridge Authority in 2009, which in turn had succeeded the International Bridge Authority created in 1935 in 2000. This is a steel truss arch bridge with suspended deck. There are two separate spans, a double arch span on the U.S. side and a single arch span on the Canadian side. The double arch spans cross the four U.S. Sioux locks. The single arch spans the single Canadian lock. In Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, the bridge ends at a city street, Huron Street, in the downtown core. The total length of the bridge approaches 2.8 miles the bridge allows bicycles to cross, but the lack of dedicated bike lanes requires cyclists to take proper precautions to ensure visibility. The International Bridge bus crosses the bridge hourly from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays and 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays, serving both downtown areas and Lake Superior State University on the Michigan side and the Station Mall on the Ontario side. A tourist information radio station, CIRS, broadcast at 5:30 a.m. from the Ontario side of the bridge bridge until 2010. History In 1954 the state of Michigan created the International Bridge Authority. Canada followed in 1955, creating the St. Mary's River Co. The bridge was opened in 1962. Beginning in 1987, an annual International Bridge Walk has been held on the last Saturday in June, starting on the Michigan side, with participants finishing in Ontario. In 1975, the bridge had its 10 millionth crossing. On June 6, 2005, the Ontario government announced a construction project to build a dedicated truck bypass route to connect the bridge to Highway 17 in the north end of the city. The city had lobbied for this for some time, since the bridge's terminus at a city street was viewed by many residents of the city as a safety concern. However, the bridge terminus itself cannot be easily relocated due to the already highly urbanized nature of the Sioux, Ontario waterfront. The truck route, known as Carmen's Way in memory of the city's former federal MP Carmen Provenzano, was officially opened in September 2006. Construction work subsequently commenced in 2009 on a project to expand and modernize the Canadian Bridge Plaza, including a larger Canada Border Services Agency building with improved truck inspection facilities and a dedicated route to take trucks directly to Carmen's Way, thereby eliminating the need for trucking traffic to enter Huron Street. Beginning in May 2014, construction work commenced on improvements to the plaza on the Michigan side of the bridge. The 100 millionth crossing occurred on March 1, 2018. See also Bridges Portal Michigan Portal Ontario Portal